Hey everybody, what's going on? Spotter Chris here, and today I have something very special for you guys. So I decided to teach you guys something that's going to help you grow your business, start your business. It's basically it's going to be 10 tips to grow your business online without having to spend that much money. And you know, I know especially when you're studying, your um your budget is very, very low. So it's very important to keep it down, keep keep the cost down. So I'm gonna share my 10 biggest tips to help you guys with starting your business, any business out there. So stay tuned and five. Four, three, two. Here we go. So we are back, and without further ado, let's just jump right in. So, 10 tips to grow your business online without a lot of money, presented by me, Spider Chris. So a lot of you guys maybe don't know who I am, but I've been in this business now for about 10 years, okay? Um, I own the Live Your Dream Incorporated company, which has about four subsidiaries companies as well, um, from coaching, vacation, marketing, and web development. As a business coach as well, I've helped over 160 entrepreneurs and businesses all over the world. Basically, I travel a lot. Um, so in terms of helping people start their own business, a creative business over the years as well. Okay. So how to grow your business on a tight budget. So let's get right into it. So the biggest mistake you can make as a small business is choosing the wrong platform to build your website. So tip number one is how to choose the right platform for your website, okay? So we are going to go over the three main um, website, I'll say, uh, companies out there or uh, uh, platforms out there. So you have WordPress, you have Wix, and then you have BuildRoll. So I'll go over the pros and cons, all three of them, so like that you know which one that may not be more feasible for you as well, okay? So with WordPress, um, in terms of the pros, it's easy to use. This probably is one of the most popular website platforms out there because without any much technical knowledge, website owners can edit and maintain um, their website themselves, okay? It's customizable. Some website platforms are hard to customize, but with WordPress, you have about 47,000 plugins and themes that you can build on your website that matches your requirements, okay? So with SEO friendly, with 30% of e-commerce traffic comes from organic links. So, you know, when people go online, they search for um, a bottle of milk, you know, to a whole bunch of choices open up. So, in terms of search engine optimization. So, WordPress is SEO friendly. Now, in terms of the cons, the uh, ownership. So, because WordPress is an open source and it's free, um, you don't have control over future developments. So this could mean that when updates come out, you know, monthly or weekly or anything like that, it can remove certain functions on your website or style that you were happy with. So you always constantly have to check your style, uh, your website or be um, up to date with the updates. And that can take away from time, you know, to running your business itself. So one major issue affecting um, WordPress website is also security. Um, in terms of too many website owners fail to regularly update, you know, their WordPress website and plugins so they can create security holes in the site for hackers to exploit, especially if you're going to be using, um, you know, PayPal or Stripe, you know, some type of, of uh, uh, financial uh, way for people to check out with their, you know, their merchandise from your business site, okay? Now, while most plugins are designed by professional developers, not all of them are good quality. So in terms of third-party content, most of this is can be harmful, um, but um, it can be damaging to your site. So that's why um, me personally, I, when I, I left WordPress, and um, you know, because of all those issues in terms of the cons, plus it took too much time for me, you know, to um, as a web developer, it was it's too much time to maintain updates, you know, and everything like that. If I create a website for a client, I want it fast, easy, and I teach my client how to also do it themselves so like that they can be autonomous as well. So that's how I teach, I coach my clients, so my business owners, so they can do it themselves. So WordPress is too much hard to follow, so that's why, um, you know, I don't use it. 
Um, some clients also ask me about Wix. You know, with Wix, you know, it's a highly intuitive and easy to use editor. Um, you see the commercials on TV all the time, online all the time. It's a great value for the money because you can start for free. And, it, um, you know, you have people that can help you. We have communities that can help you and everything. So the highest public recommendation of any website builder is definitely Wix as of right now. Okay. Um, but in terms of cons, you can't switch templates after your website goes live. So once it goes live, you publish it. That's it. Um, you can switch templates. You can add tools and plugins, but for the template itself, it's locked and lo it's locked. Basically, you can't switch it. Um, you may have to spend more money on third-party apps to scale your website. So let's say, okay, you have an e-commerce and you want to use uh, uh, payment in terms of Visa, Mastercard, you know, stuff like that. So you have to um, pay for a plugin. Um, that accepts, you know, um, you know, credit cards, you know, and stuff like that to have for your e-business. So in Wix, also that's how they do it, where they have a plan where you it'll charge you more if you want e-commerce, so you can use different plugins for um, if it's using PayPal, if it's using Venmo, um, uh, Cash App, or whatever the case may be. Um, so the cheer choice of an amount of customizable options can be overwhelming as well. Uh, w because of that, there are so many third-party apps where you have to buy them in terms of bells and whistles. So like that, in terms of what you want is you still have to come up with money out of pocket and everything like that. Okay. So then we have Builderall. So with Builderall, um, that's actually the company that I use for all my businesses and I recommend to my clients because the pros outweighs the cons easily, okay? So um, everything is in one place. You know, you don't have to go back and forth. Um, everything is it's like a digital platform that has all the tools to run your business. So it's very affordable and reasonable pricing. The, um, your first plan is actually free, so you can have a website for free, just like Wix as well. And then if you want now to have a mailing um, email, the lowest uh, cost is just $19.95 a month. And the highest cost, the most expensive cost, is seventy dollars a month, compared to all um, to all the other website Wix and WordPress. With um, the amount of money you spend in terms of all the bells and whistles and everything, it, in terms of cost, it outweighs it. Um, so it's easy to use interface. Um, actually. Let me see, I'm gonna show you. Okay, here we go. So it's with Builder it's easy to use interface in terms of the tools that you want. Um, it's all about drag and drop. You have so many tools that you can use um, in terms of you have, uh, all you gotta do is enter the room. So enter and then you have basically everything that you need you know in terms of the website you have the most biggest one is a cheetah website where you can actually do your um your um your website is drag and drop is very easy it's fast and everything like that um so for example just to show you enter the cheetah so it's very easy, it's fast, it's mobile friendly as well. If you're looking for something mobile friendly, it's very easy to use and drop and drop. So I have videos, I'm not gonna go too much into it. I have videos already on my page about the Cheetah and Builderall so you guys can look at it as well. Um, it's suitable for a wide range of users. Doesn't matter if you're studying as a um, novice, you know, you don't know anything about building a business online or you are a professional or guru, you have four or five businesses just like I do, it's perfect for you as well. Um, easier to design than WordPress and Wix, like I said, um, um, is Drop. You can change, um, customize your theme. Even after you publish it, you can still go back in and change the theme, change the way you want it is in terms of Drop and Drop. And plus, it, there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you, you can, even if you choose the most expensive plan, which is $70 a month, where you have all the tools, all the bells and whistles and everything. That's the one I have myself. Um, even this presentation, I use Builderall, one of the tools to do this presentation for you guys as well. So, um, but basically, if you don't like it after 30 days, you can get your money back as well. So, the, which is one thing I really liked about it. Um, in terms of the cons, it is not WordPress. So, meaning that 
We um like being WordPress is more popular. You have forty seven thousand plugins done by different developers and everything like that. Buildraw is slowly getting there with um the different plugins or we call them tools and stuff. But you don't have that many. So right now there there's about I believe um twenty two or twenty three different tools right now. Okay, so many features available it takes time to learn them all. Uh, from uh, the website, uh, let me go back on here. So from the builders right here, the email marketing presentation studio is what I've used to show you guys. Um, the canvas to build a funnel. You have a magazine, social proof. Um, I mean, webinar, you know, everything like that, uh, that you need to run your business. So you will need literally time to learn, of, uh, learn them. But the best thing about it is that they have a video tutorial for every one of them for everything so um so all you gotta do is click help in terms of training and literally you have a whole bunch of video tutorials that will help you in terms of a cheetah in terms of a general overview it opens up on youtube on the video so you can learn everything like that so again as i stated doesn't matter if you're new um doesn't matter if you are uh, new or experienced, you are, it will definitely help you out. So they keep adding more tools instead of, um, another con is that they keep adding more tools instead of fixing the ones that they have already. Now, yes, I use Builderall, you know, I'm happy with it, but um, one thing that I personally don't like is that they keep adding more tools that every business owner wants and needs, which is awesome, but the little, <sighs> Tweaks, I'll say. It takes them longer to fix the little tweaks, you see, because um, the developers are focusing on new stuff coming out that in demand that people um, are asking for. So the developers make it and put it out there. But in terms of going back to fix little tweaks here and there, in terms of maybe adding more fonts, or, you know, stuff like that, it does take a little, a little t more time, okay? So that's for in terms of those right there. So... So tip number two, choose a functional website, a functional website with simple design. Now you see a lot of websites out there that are overpowered, you know, a lot of images, um, special effects and everything like that. You want something simple and easy. Many beginners believe that their customers will not take um, their business seriously if they don't have their website professionally designed. So getting a professional, uh, professional to custom design your website is, can be very expensive. Um, I myself for my company for LYD marketing, we charge literally from 800 to $2,000, you know, to make website for business owners. So it's, it can be expensive if you want something very elaborate and, you know, with many pages with special effects, parallax, you know, all this stuff like that. So it's not needed when you're just starting out. So if you're starting out, basically you can easily start with a ready-made, um, website, um, and any of the, um, of the previous uh, platforms, so Wix, uh, let's see, um, uh, WordPress, and Builderall, all three of them have templates, platforms that for your business. Um, they have it with Builderall, they have them in terms of categories as well, in terms of if you are, you know, in the medical field, in the legal field, services, car, you know, dental, you know, so whatever the case may be, you have different platforms to help you do it as well. So basically, um, in terms of you don't have to go all out, simple, keep it simple, easy, you know, so you won't have any issues at all, okay? So number three, make it easier for users to contact you, okay? So if you want your website to bring in more customers, then you need to add an easy way for visitors to contact you, which is basically a contact form. A lot of places, um, a lot of platforms use contact forms where basically you will put in your name. Um, and basically, we, a lot of us in the industry call it an opt-in form or, you know, a contact form. So actually, let, let's refresh. I'm actually, rewind, rewind. There are two types of form. There's an opt-in form and a contact form. An opt-in form is if you have your website attached to a mailing service, it's like MailChimp, um, uh, with the build role, um, which is, um, in terms of, um, uh, I'm sorry, mind blank here with, with the build role you have, um, for the email marketing, the mailing boss, sorry, mailing boss with build role or, um, any other mailing software out there. 
with the opt-in form it will get the person contact information add them to your list to send emails you know and stuff like that now with the contact form is basically where you can have it directly put their information sent to your email so you have you can keep your own database and everything so usually with um, WordPress and with um, Wix having an opt-in form um, it's a third party where you have to pay for another monthly fee for another company, you know, like MailChimp, you know, and to do your mailing and stuff. With Builderall, it's included, and even the free site is included. They give this start you with a hundred. Um, you can have a hundred uh, subscribers or a hundred, uh, yeah, subscribers in your list, okay, for free. Um, where you can do your mailing it they, because they want you to learn how to do mailing how to write your emails You know and everything like that. So they teach you all that so you have um, you can do still use a contact form with Builderall um, That goes directly to your Gmail or Yahoo email, but I also I teach I Advise my customers, you know my business owners to use the mailing boss Especially if they're doing the free site, they get a hundred to start with, a hundred um, empty spaces in their mailing list to fill up, because it teaches them how to use, how to do mailing, how to do email marketing, which is a big, big, big thing when you do online businesses. Okay, so number four, so start building an email list from day one, as we spoke about before. Most people who leave your website will never come back. Okay, that is proven, that's statistically proven. This means that if you don't get their email addresses, then you'll have no way to communicate with them in the future. So the most cost-effective way is to do this is to build your email list, like we spoke about in the last slide. Email marketing is the most reliable way to communicate with your website visitors. So like that, you can know who comes to your website. Um, you can also... Um, um, add like little tags to know okay which um the uh, uh product did your customer look at or which product did they left in their cart um you know to, so you can get send them an email hey don't forget you left something in your cart so all this comes into play in terms of email list and everything like that okay so very important is to have um, to build your list so like that you can follow up engage your customers I tell I teach my business owners list you that you want to do in a seven-day period you want to send your customers at least four to five emails in a seven-day period okay and to engage them in everything like that um, so I have some people and this is more Relax. I have some people that are aggressive that send seven emails in seven days, one every day. Okay, and it works for them depending in terms of their business niche. It works for them as well. So you just have to um, work it out. Um, one day I will teach you guys in terms of the etiquette, in terms of email marketing, what works, what doesn't work. So we'll leave that for another session as well. So number five, get more organic traffic from search engines. So like I said, search engines like Google, Yahoo are the major sort of traffic for most websites. Um, there are a lot of things that you can do to optimize your website for search engines by learning basic SEO, search engine optimization, okay? It basically sets a guideline and techniques that make your website more search engine friendly. So if someone goes in and Googles LYD marketing or, you know, live your dream marketing in terms of coming up in terms of search engine, if someone is asking for um, a dealership, so like that, um, it can, your dealership can come up first in the list or in the top 10 on the first page, you know, of the list. So in terms of the ranking, that's what we're talking about, the top 10 or the first um, traffic monitoring, content, social network, all these right here play a big and important role in terms of search engine for it to show up on your, um, to get traffic basically. So to get traffic from search engine, you'll need counting. So which basically is very important because the next slide in terms of planning a content marketing strategy is very important. Doesn't matter what type of business you have, you have to have content. So even on your website, in terms of um, a blog or you know um, using social media, Facebook, you know it's all about having content to um, because all this stuff plays in with search engine in terms of um, uh, looking for your business online as well and everything. Okay, so 
The content marketing is a strategy to create useful and relevant content to attract and build an audience. So this allows you basically to get more targeted traffic, okay, from search engines without spending a fortune, okay? So the easiest way to do, um, to add useful content to your website is to add a blog. So you can add a blog to your website and sort your content into categories and tags. So this is my blog that I did with Build Raw. So literally, um, you um, you can I have it where articles that I, uh, I put in, um, and I have it where it's pulling my Facebook fan page as well for articles from there. You know, it's very simple, easy, daily motivation, video logs, you know, business um, uh, foundations, you know, and everything like that. So it's very simple. So if you need ideas on using keywords, because basically you need to plan your content strategy by finding the keywords your users may look for. So my keywords are usually in terms of um, business coaching, motivation, new business owners, small business owners, you know, stuff like that. So those are some of the keywords that I use and everything like that, okay? So tip number seven, leverage social media to drive traffic. So what, what do I mean by that, okay? Social media platforms have highly engaged audiences. You know, everybody these days on their cell phone, on Facebook, Pinterest, um, you know, uh, Instagram, um, uh, Twitter, you know, everything like that. So Facebook alone has 1.47 uh, billion daily active users, okay? So that's around 18% of all people in the world, guys. 18% of people worldwide are on Facebook, okay? Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and other social media platforms also have, a, like I said, a highly engaged user audience. So with so many users in social media platform, they, they bring great opportunities for businesses. So in terms of your target audience and everything like that, that's why people do a lot of Facebook marketing and everything. So you can start by creating your business social media profile um, and automatically share your blog posts, your business posts, you know, and everything. Um, personally, myself, again, I tell people um, the best way that I use mine is, again, I'm running a three, um, four different companies. So I don't have time to go every day to do something for each one of those companies every day. So automation is key for me. So what I do is basically I do my auto, uh, I use my, um, uh, the auto post, I don't know, sorry, the auto post feature, okay, for on Builder All, where basically I can actually post stuff, you know, and everything like that. Okay, so this is the social auto post app. So literally, if I have if I have something, for, let's say that I want to post on this page on Monday, or this one on Tuesday, this one on Thursday, and stuff like that, so I can use the schedule auto post, and and basically it does it automatically. So usually I'll spend one day out of the week to do all my auto post for all my social media and everything, and it does it automatically for me, so I don't have to worry about it. So that's one of the things that I really love in terms of leveraging social media to drive traffic because when I post stuff on my webs on my Facebook pages, Instagram since Facebook owns Instagram now. So it drives traffic and where basically to my profile where I have the link for my business for my website, you know, and everything and how I get clients, okay? So that's very important as well. So, number 8 be an active participant in online communities. So going back again on social media, online communities include forums, um, question answers website, and obviously Facebook groups as well, okay? So these are the places that people go to to post their questions, socialize, find content, you know, explore, you know, stuff like that. So you have a lot of, in terms of website communities like Reddit, um, Stack and Exchange, um, Quora, TripAdvisors, you know, if you're in the travel industry. So these communities, um, these communities uh, provide you with the access, you know, to people that with the same interests that are your target audiences, okay? So you definitely want to do, um, be active in the communities, ask questions, answer questions, help people out. It gives you authority. It gives you value. So when people will start looking for you, looking for your website, going to your profile, checking you out and everything like that. So you need to find out which communities are more relevant to your business and where your potential customers are. Um, basically hang out or may go to look for answers. 
Um, and then that's where you will go and do it. So, for example, if you run, let's say, a travel company, a travel, um, or my wife and I will have LYD Vacation, which is a travel company that we have. So what we do is we join um, uh, trip advisors, um, you know, community and answer questions and stuff there. Also online on Facebook with the groups. We join a lot of travel groups and everything in terms of answering questions, offering people advice, you know, and everything. Even doing um, uh, raffles, you know, and everything like that, getaways and everything. So um, the last one we did, oh, get rid, no. The last one we did, was uh, uh give me a second here the last one we did was over the holidays for uh for christmas where we gave away uh uh basically a trip to either hawaii italy or greece and basically this was our page so to people to enter the um the raffle the vacation so again when i went on the communities and and told people about that, they already had experience with me in the community. So we had a lot of people jumping in and everything like that. So in terms of social, um, those are social proofs and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that as well. So that's tip number eight. Tip number nine, okay. So you have a business, you have a, um, how do you call it, a product. Now you have, different ways of marketing that product to get people to buy that product. You can do a lot, you can do what a lot of people do in terms of paying um, for advertising, Facebook advertising, Yahoo, Google advertising, you know, um, stuff like that. Or you can also do a certain affiliate partner program. So affiliate marketing is basically a referral arrangement in which an online retailer, so the advisor pays commission, so you would pay commission to a referrer when they, um, when users purchase a product using their referral link. So for example, if I'm selling a coaching book, okay, instead of me selling it on f Facebook advertising, I can have an affiliate program, if I'm selling it for $10, I can have an affiliate program where I basically can um, tell the affiliate that they'll get 20%, so $2 out of the $10, okay, on in terms of commission. So I would make, you know, the $8, they make $2 and the book sells for $10, okay? So like that, it's an easy way, especially when you have affiliates that have thousands of followers and everything, that trust, that have the um, the knowledge and the, 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 the trust already of their followers, so um, that is very, very good. Just like influencers, when you see on Instagram influencers and everything, influencers are basically affiliates, okay? So in terms of if they're using, you know, a bottle, you know, selling water, uh, makeup and stuff like that, they're pretty much affiliates where L'Oreal will pay someone, you know, to influence people to buy their product. And basically they get make money for every customer that they buy, okay? So that's in terms of starting the affiliate program. So with that, like I said, you don't have to spend money on Facebook ads. You can do the affiliate program and give a cut from your um, profit to a, the affiliate. So like that, literally, you don't have to make an extra um, spending in terms of Facebook ads, which can run a lot of money out of your pocket from the get-go, okay? Now, social proof, okay, so... Social proof is a psychological phenomenon. And that's one of the biggest, biggest thing. That's why I left it for the end because it's one of the biggest thing that I use. So where people conform to the actions of others under the assumption that those actions are reflective of the correct behavior. So that's the psychological determination. So basically social proof is, let's go back to that website right here. So when you see basically something like this, so during that time, um, I did the drawing. It was in December. Um, I actually ran it for two weeks. So during those two weeks, I had people, every time they entered and everything like that, my social proof that I used, again, this website I created on Build World. Build World has a social proof app as well. So I, um, every time someone puts in their information, it will show right here in terms of, you know, um, you know, Stacy signed up for the um, you know, from SyncCloud, basically sign up for the, you know, the drawing, for example, okay? So when people come in, they say, okay, ooh, this person bought this. They put, um, so many people are buying, are buying, are buying, are buying. So again, it causes a phenomenon that, oh, wow, if so many people are going in, 
it must be good. So it's a psychological effect. So that's why you see now a lot of websites now, a lot of businesses are having a social proof um, uh, uh, tag. It could be in the form of a pop-up like this. It could be in the form of reviews. Um, for example, Amazon is one of the biggest one that does it because for every product in the bottom, you have the reviews for every product. So that is a form of social proof as well. So you can use it like this. You can use it in terms of having uh, 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 having a link uh, a window to your base Facebook business page where people are giving reviews. So there's so many ways you can do social proof, but definitely it's um, uh, uh, definitely a big thing to do. Um, especially in terms of when you're starting after the when you start making some sales ask for your customers for reviews if they like the the product if they like the service and everything because that is going to drive your business literally to the next level guys okay so again definitely using social proof um to win customers is a very very big thing okay so those basically were the top 10 tips that i had for you guys so as you watch this video, if you have any questions, feel free, okay, to comment your questions. I will answer them ASAP. So just tap it in, but down there, I will answer them ASAP and everything like that, okay? Um, now, if you guys are interested in terms of Builderall, since um, you saw a, a lot of my businesses are run with Builderall, it is the most, like I said, it's the most powerful, complete digital marketing and online business platform ever created, okay? So if you want some info, lydbuilderall.com is my affiliate link. So all you have to do is tap in lydbuilderall.com. Um, it will redirect you to the main Builderall website where basically you can learn more about Builderall. You can try it for free for 14 days, no credit card necessary, okay? This is Eric Salgado, is the CEO and founder of Builderall, okay? Um, where you can learn about the different op um, the different tools. You can see a video about Cheetah, the mobile perfection, blogging, um, in terms of smart pop-up, web, web, I mean, there's a video, you see it in action, all you gotta do is click on it, and basically you can watch the video and everything like that, okay? Um, in terms of um, the plans, let's go back on top, right here. So with the plans, like I said, that's one of the reasons I use Builderall, not only for my customers when I do websites for them, but also for to ref, um, refer people to Builderall if they want to start a business, um, if they want to run their business and everything like that. So running their business, they have different um, plans. So the first one is a free one where basically um, you get uh, a free website, okay? Uh, taking support, you have Cheetah available, but the only difference is that when you build your website, it will say build with Builderall. If you want um, to try it, click on Builderall. So it'll have a banner on top, so that's why it's free. Then the next level is the 1991. If basically you will have up to three domains, so you can have three different websites.com, okay? Um, you can have a hundred leads, okay? And you have basically all these, the blogging, everything like that. You also have the splitting. Um, you also have funnel sharing. So you can share, if you create a funnel, you can share with somebody else. Um, all, all those as well, drag and drop email marketing, responses email builder, you know, so on and so forth. Then you have the marketer's plan. So the marketer's plan is the five domains. 5,000 leads in terms of 5,000 people you can have in your email list, okay? Especially if in terms of you want to follow up with your clients who purchase your, your products and everything. So um, you get everything from the free to the builder. Plus, they keep um, you have also a CRM, so customer relation management in terms of tracking the sales, you know, and everything like that. Um, the telegram automation and also SMS messaging as well, text messaging as well, okay? Then the essential one, um, 10 domains, 15,000 leads, um, $49.90. So you get everything from the previous ones, plus also you have a messenger chat box, website bot, and then also WordPress as well, um, click integration. So if you have a WordPress site and you want to transfer it, integrate it with Builderall, then this plane will definitely be the one for you, which is the $50 a month, okay? And then last but last, last but not least, this is the one that I'm using for my company, is the premium one where all the tools are included. 
um, 15 domains, unlimited leads. So you have, will have unlimited leads. Right now, I have about 27,000 leads on my email list that from the years, from the, my companies and everything like that. That's 27,000 um, contacts that I have in terms of my businesses to follow up with um, them you know, and with customers and everything like that. Um, so it's $70 a month, like I said, so you get everything, okay, including um, the magazine builder. So for the magazine builder, for my company, LYD Magazine, um, give me a second, uh, magazine, here we go. So um, my travel company, we came out with a magazine where basically um, we have every quarter we run out, we come out with a magazine, a vacation magazine for our travel company, okay? So again, everything I've done like, was on Build World, doing the magazine as well. Um, webinar builders, you know, evergreen webinar. So in terms of you can have videos running as a webinar. If you are a entrepreneur, online entrepreneur, um, where you're going to be doing a lot of affiliate marketing, so definitely, this will be the perfect plan for you because everything is included that you'll need to run to be a successful marketer, a successful entrepreneur online, okay? Um, from Facebook live streaming tool, YouTube, um, drag and drop e-learning, um, directory builder, VA access. So VA access is basically a virtual assistant access where basically um, I can have delegate someone in my company to go and access this particular tool, this particular site to work on something. So right now we have five people in my company. Um, so where each one of us have a, uh, you know, a VA access to do certain things for the, the four companies that we run. Okay. So one person deals with the magazine. One person deals with social proof. One person deals with the webinars. One person does this. One person does that. You see. So that's very important as well. So again, you have the different tools. So a price range from free all the way up to seventy dollars a month okay which is literally if you're comparing them with other tools out there other email um i'll say digital marketing platforms out there seventy dollars is actually cheap and do your research you'll see it for yourself it's actually cheap now if you are looking to just be an affiliate so you want to um, remember, we spoke about affiliate marketing. So build a role, just like a lot of companies, Amazon, you know, a lot of companies have affiliate programs. So build a has also an affiliate program. So where you can actually become an affiliate for free. Okay. So what will happen is that is um, you can become an affiliate for free and refer people to using build a refer businesses to using build a Okay. So it's a two tier commission. So how does it work? You join Build a Roll, you don't need to pay any fee to purchase any products. Affiliates do not earn commission for referring other affiliates, okay? So I'm not going to earn a commission for referring you to become an affiliate. Commissions are only generated when one of the Build a Roll plans is sold to a customer. So, and every affiliate earns a recurring commission from their direct sales, okay? So uh, no affiliate can promote Build a Roll by making earnings or income claims, okay? Um, so you can just read all of this. It gives you the details and everything like that. But the best thing about it is right here. So you make a hundred percent commission upfront. So Build Your All is so um, comfortable, so confident, I'll say, about their product and tools that literally the first month income goes to their affiliate. Okay, for every so if I have a customer that comes in and buys the seventy dollar um, plan, right off the bat as an affiliate, I would make seventy dollars right off the bat. Then every month they keep on paying their seventy on month two, I make the thirty percent right there. So I make a hundred percent as an affiliate on month one, and in month two, thirty percent every month after that. Okay. And you can redraw these commissions five days after the payment. You know, um, new affiliates would be able to redraw these commission after 35 days. Um, so you, in terms of qualifying to be an affiliate and stuff like that. Um, now, the second tier recurring commission. So let's say I bring in Mary, Mary as an affiliate. I don't make money on Mary becoming an affiliate. But Mary sells a product to, um, you know, to John, okay? So as an affiliate, every time Mary, second tier customer, pays their build roll monthly fee, you earn a recurring commission. So when Mary sells build roll 
the seventy dollar plan to John. John pays their seventy dollars every month. I also make thirty percent as well. Mary makes their her thirty percent. So sixty percent of Bill Draw's income every month goes to their affiliates. That's sixty percent. So Bill Draw only keeps forty percent. I have never, never seen in the 10 years plus experience I have in marketing, uh, um, internet marketing, I've never seen a company that does 60% toward affiliate, okay? So it shows you with Eric, the, this vision in terms of making it where basically showing that it is doable to have a successful business online with BuildRoll, helping other businesses owners using BuildRoll as well. So it's unbelievable. So, um, so for example, premium plan earnings simulator. So if you click here, so let's say I come in and I do in a year, let's do 20. So 20 people buy Builder All. Now, how many affiliates can I bring in the year? So knowing my, let's say I do, so let's keep it 20 also. So I bring in 20 people as well. Now, before I do that, Keep in mind, as I'm doing the arrows, this amount doesn't change because I don't make money to bring affiliate. I make money when I do the sales right there, okay? So that's 20. So 20 um, sales, okay, at the 69 value plan, plus I get also a bonus of $20.97, so which basically um, comes to... Uh, four hundred and nineteen dollars and then for the affiliates again as you can see nothing here but now for the affiliates how many sales can each affiliate make in a year so let's do 10 let's do 20 here let's do 10 sales so remember second tier to, uh, second tier tuition, um, to, not tuition, <laughs> second tier um, income is basically in terms of get make 30% as well. So 30% for um, every time the monthly, that's 419, the 30% right there for the second tier. So every month I will get paid $4,613 every month as long as I keep my 20 people using Builderall and my 20 affiliates, each of them bring 10 people that keeps builder all. So that's an example in terms of how the earning calculator. Now, obviously, the way you are in affiliate marketing doing this business is you want to make sure you know that you stay in contact with your um, your customers. If they have questions, you help them out. You teach your affiliate on proper how to do marketing and um, advertising. We do all that with a uh, uh, LYD Builder Roll. If you look at us, uh, look us up on Facebook. We have a group that where we teach you. Uh, and when you come in under um, me with um, Sparta Chris, we teach you. My team and I we teach you how to do all this stuff so you can get up to that income level and everything like that. So those are examples in terms of um, simulator and everything. So all you gotta do is become an affiliate for free. So overall, again, all you gotta do is go to lydbuildroll.com, okay? And then you can basically uh, sign up for the tools or you can just become an, associate, an affiliate, it's up to you. Um, at the end of the day, I just wanted to share with you guys the 10 top tips in terms of so basically growing your business, having a business online without spending a lot of money, okay? So this is Sparta Chris. Let's go, let me go back to here. Here we go. So this is Sparta Chris. And again, thank you for following me. Thank you for, um, you know, subscribing. For those who have not subscribed yet, definitely go and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time when I teach you guys something new. Take care. Have a nice day.